Thank you, Pat. Hallelujah. I don't want to preach with a pink mic. I preach with a pink mic. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Well, do you love Jesus this morning? Praise the name of Jesus. I've got a good word for you today, and I've entitled my message, Prepare the Way. Glory to God. Thank you, musicians. You may be seated. Today, as I said, is Palm Sunday, and Christians all over the world are celebrating the triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. But today, as we celebrate this glorious day, understand that it's not only an historical event. The church is celebrating this day, and it is actually also a prophetic revelation of a day to come. There's a day coming when the Lord will come to the earth. It's called the second coming. Hallelujah. And in the book of Revelation 1 verse 7, he says, Behold, he is coming with clouds, and every eye will see him, even they who pierced him. And all the tribes of the earth will mourn because of him. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with a trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first, and then... We who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. Hallelujah. Saints, church of the living God, we are living in momentous times. And just as Jesus entered Jerusalem 2,000 years ago, he will appear again, the Bible says, the second time. And when Jesus came the first time, the Bible says he came to put away sin by the sacrifice of self. That's why he came in the triumphal entry to Jerusalem. And when he comes a second time, Hebrews 9 verse 28 says, To those who eagerly wait for them, he will appear a second time, apart from sin, for salvation. Glory to God. You see, the heavens will be open and Jesus will appear on the clouds with the armies of heaven. And the Bible says it will be a glorious event and every eye will see him. His appearance will be like the lightning from the east to the west. And he will come triumphantly. And as surely as Jesus entered Jerusalem 2,000 years ago, Jesus is coming again. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. And he's coming for you and for me. You see, when Jesus entered Jerusalem, he entered meek, lowly, riding on a donkey. And, you know, I was just thinking about that, the second coming, thinking of Jerusalem. And I was remembering how our president told us a little while ago, the whole nation, to please sing Jerusalem. And to dance. And we, we did dances and did all kinds of things to that song. And I thought of it, how prophetic is it that that song, Jerusalem, came out, thinking of the second coming of Jesus. Because the words, Jerusalem, Ikayalami, means J Jerusalem is my home. And then it goes on to say, God, me, walk with me, do not leave me. And Jesus, listen, will not leave us here. He is coming again. Amen. Amen. Now, praise be to God that we can prepare the way. And, you know, Jesus came on the Palm Sunday and the way was prepared for him. They prepared the way and Jesus entered Jerusalem now, they're going to start putting sound down a little bit and all that, but don't worry, you've got, you've got the radio on you, okay? So those of you watching my live stream, you don't know that, but it's starting to rain here a little bit. But praise God, we're all in our cars, and the walk-in service is just going into the building, so everything is fine. But on Palm Sunday, they prepared the way, and Jesus entered Jerusalem. Firstly, the prophet Ze Zechariah in Zechariah 9 verse 9 had prepared for this day by prophesying, saying, Tell the daughter of Jerusalem, Behold, your king is coming to you lowly and sitting on a donkey, a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples prepared the way 
by bringing the donkey for Jesus. The people prepared for Jesus to ride the donkey by putting their clothes on that donkey before Jesus was seated. Jesus' followers prepared the way by preparing a crowd, by drawing a lot of people together. And they brought a multitude together. Have you ever thought of how that multitude got to be there? How did they know Jesus about to enter? How did the multitude come out of the city to come and meet him? The Bible says that Jesus' followers who was there when Lazarus was raised went and told everybody and brought them to come see him. The Bible says in John 12 verse 17, Therefore the people who were with him when he called Lazarus out of his tomb and raised him from the dead bore witness. And for this reason the people also met him because they heard that he had done this sign. Saints, our testimony is important. Out telling people about Jesus prepares the crowds to come to Jesus. Hallelujah. The crowd prepared the way through the streets for Jesus by, where, by waving palm branches. Glory to God. And shouts of joy. The multitudes prepared his praise with shouting and dancing. The Bible says in Matthew 21 verse 9, Then the multitudes who went before and those who followed out cried out, saying, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Glory to God. Because Jesus is worthy of praise. Can you flash your cards light and lift your hands and say, Jesus is worthy of the praise. Amen. The Pharisees told Jesus, no, stop them. They shouldn't be saying these things. But Jesus said in Luke 19, 40, I tell you that if these should keep silent, the very stones would immediately cry out. Praise God in the highest. I want to say to you, praise is due to Jesus. He is worthy of the praise. I need 50 people to just lift your hands and say, Jesus, you're worthy of the praise. Hallelujah. They prepared the way. And when he entered the temple, the Bible says he did wonderful works. You see, he comes to his people to do wonderful works. Matthew 21 verse 15 says, But when the chief priests and scribes saw the wonderful things that he did, and the children crying out in the temple and saying, Hosanna to the son of David, they were indignant. You see, now, because Jesus had come to the temple, it was filled with his miracle presence, not just rituals, not just anything, but wonderful things started happening. When Jesus was in the temple, the Bible says they saw the wonderful things that he did. He cleansed the temple. He cast out the moneylenders. He restored prayer. He brought a new atmosphere of praise and thanksgiving into the temple. Instead of recitals, there was testimonies and joyous thanksgivings for miracles. He did wonderful things. And he said to them, it is written, my house shall be called a house of prayer. But you've made it a den of thieves. And then the blind and the lame came to Jesus in the temple, and he healed them. You see, the way had been prepared for Jesus, and he did wonderful things. Miracles and healings started happening because his presence was there. They wanted to stop the praise. But I want you to know today, the praise is due. Because if these will not praise, the very rocks will cry out because he's worthy of the praise and praise is due to him. Hallelujah. They said to him, do you hear what these are saying? And Jesus said to them, yes. Have you never read 
that out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants, you have perfected praise. Jesus called this perfected praise. That's quite an amazing statement. Have you thought of that? Those who are watching my YouTube and live stream, he says that he has perfected praise. So something that is perfected is something that is complete. Perfected praise. Hallelujah. Perfected praise means it's complete. It's made whole. There's nothing missing in their praise. Their praise was perfect. The miracles of the praise was present. The reason for the praise was manifest. It was evident why they were praising him because there was healings and miracles and signs and wonders. It was perfect praise. Hallelujah. Thank God for filled praise, adoring praise, faith, thankful praise, worshipful praise, perfected praise, praise that had its fullness. They were praising him and their praise and the reason for their praise was proved. Proven. It was relevant. And because they were healed, because of the miracles, praise was due because it was a perfect time. Hallelujah. Of Jesus revealing his glory. Perfected praise. The Bible says that praise is due, saints. In the book of Psalm 65 verse 1, he says this, praise is due to you, Lord our God in Zion, and to you the vow shall be performed. O oh, you who hear prayer, to you all flesh will come. Iniquities prevail against me. As for our transgressions, you will provide atonement for them. Blessed is the man you choose and cause to approach you, that he may dwell in your courts, for we shall be satisfied with goodness in your house, of your holy temple. By awesome deeds and righteousness, you will answer us, O God of our salvation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says praise is due. How many of you here today can say praise is due to Jesus? Hallelujah. Praise is due to him for my salvation. Praise is due to him for the atonement. Praise is due to him for his sacrifice. Praise is due to him for his blood. Praise is due to him for my healing. How many here have received healing from Jesus? I can say praise is due to him because he healed me. How many of you have been provided for miraculously? I can say praise is due because he provided. How many of you were delivered miraculously? Praise is due. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And this morning we come together as the church and we say praise is due to Jesus. Luke 19, 37 said, Then, as he was now drawing near the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and to praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. And some of the Pharisees called out to him from the crowd saying, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. But he answered and said to them, I tell you that if these should keep silent, the stones would immediately cry out. Glory to God. You see, today Jesus comes to the place that we had prepared. We had prepared the service. We had prepared this YouTube stream, YouTube stream and this live stream. We had prepared the driving. We had prepared our hearts. We had prepared our praise. We had prepared for him. We had prepared the way for the king to come into his temple, to come and dwell with us, to come and manifest his glory with us. And when Jesus comes, he does wonderful works. He comes into our presence today, not to come and tell us to do some religious 
rituals, but to believe him and thank him and honor him and receive from him. And right now the anointing is right there in your home, right there with you. He's right there with his temple because you are the temple of the Holy Ghost. And he fills his church with his presence. And this morning I can see the Lord doing wondrous works. What is it that you need? What is it that you are trusting God for? He's come to his temple to do wondrous works. Wondrous works. They were healed. They were set free. They were touched by the power of God. And today his presence is in this place. I saw the Lord doing a mighty miracle right there for you where you are. I want you to lift your hand right now as we bring this uh, sermon to a close. And I want to say to you that this Lord is come to his temple. And in your life, he is present to do wondrous works. He doesn't come to give you another ritual to perform. He doesn't come to give you another form of godliness, but he comes with his miracle presence. He comes in the promise of his might. And right now as your hands are raised, Father, I release your mighty anointing. I thank you for your presence. I thank you for answering prayer. I thank you that you know every situation and every desire and every need. And now, Spirit of God, as you came triumphantly into Jerusalem, so you come triumphantly to your church. And I thank you for wondrous works. Wondrous works. Receive that miracle. That's the anointing. That's the glory. I sense the presence and the power of God coming right now and filling those homes, filling your life. Father, thank you now for the miracle, for the wondrous works of Jesus. Be filled with his presence. Let his glory enter your home. Let his glory enter your life right now. And I thank you, Lord, that you bring deliverance, that you set the captives free, that you break every chain, that you destroy every bondage, that you cancel every assignment. Lord, I remove those things from every life. And I thank you now for wondrous works. I thank you now, Lord, for answering the prayer, for touching that life, for bringing that son back, for bringing that daughter back, for raising families, and raising businesses and releasing provision and blessing. In the name of Jesus, Lord, those who are sick right now, let that glory, let that presence come. Thank you, Lord, for wondrous works. For you healed them all in the name of Jesus. I release that healing. Come on. I want to just receive that. That's it. That's the power. That's the glory. That's what God's speaking about. His wonderful presence coming to you now. Receive in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. I command that heart condition be reversed in the name of Jesus. I command those kidneys function in the name of Jesus. You won't need dialysis anymore. You won't need a doctor for that anymore. But Dr. Jesus comes to your home right now. Dr. Jesus comes and touches your body. Those with blood conditions, those whatever the condition in your body, in the mighty name of Jesus, there's somebody watching me, you've got a stomach condition right where you are. He comes and he does wondrous works. Let his presence fill your life. Let his presence touch your body. Now in the name of Jesus, lay your hands on your body. I release that anointing. I release the power of healing in your body. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be made whole in the name of Jesus. Let the glory of God touch you. Be healed. Be healed. That's it. Receive. 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 Receive your miracle. Thank you, Lord, for the mighty manifestation of your presence in your people. You, saints, are the temple of the living God. And He comes to you today to touch your body. Be made whole. That's it. Receive, receive, receive. In the name of Jesus. Some of you are facing adverse circumstances, but right now the King of glory breaks those circumstances over your life. I release provision. I re release blessing. I release peace. I command everything to turn and to work together for your good. In the mighty name of Jesus, be made whole. Thank you, Lord, for your peace. Come to your temple, Jesus. 
manifest your glory in every life. Let your glory fill your people. Those of you who are hungry for a touch from God. Say, Pastor Johnny, it's been a whole year. We've not been in a service. We've not experienced that glory. Let that glory come to you right now. That's it. Refreshing. Times of refreshing. The precious spirit of the living God. Just open, receive, drink of the Holy Ghost this morning. Drink of the spirit of refreshing this morning. Those of you watching by, by whatever medium, we're going to have an awesome time next weekend, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, prophetic Easter conference right now, and the glory of God's going to fall just like it's happening right now. I thank you, Spirit of God. I bless each and every one. That's it. That's it. That's the anointing. That's the refreshing of the presence of God. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Here comes the glory of the Lord. Just stay in this mode of worship. Here comes the glory of the Lord. Sweeping through. That's it. The glory, the cloud of glory. Jesus coming to his temple. It comes the glory, the Lord. Shabra Sechina, thank you. Here comes the glory of the Lord. Shabra Kedeke Deke, that's it. That's it, receive. Shabra Mikeda Baya. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. Be saturated. Be saturated. With this glory settle in your home, settle in your life. Comes the glory. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you for the entrance of your spirit. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. There's a deepening move of the Spirit of God. Stay in this attitude, receive. Thank you, Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Here comes the glory. Thank you for your touch. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I release the anointing. Be touched. The touch of God on your life today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of God, filling your temple, coming to your place. The glory of God I release in your life today in the name of Jesus. Where the glory is, He makes you whole. Where the glory is, He brings peace. Where the glory is, He makes you whole. He touches you. He reveals His presence and His miracle power. He makes them every but whole. In the name of Jesus, just stand this attitude of worship. There's miracles happening. There's a touch of the Spirit moving in this place this morning. Hallelujah. Shabra Seken Amaya. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Here comes the glory. Here comes the glory. Thank you. Seal, Spirit of God. Your people in your life. Hallelujah. Here comes the glory. Hallelujah. Here comes the glory of the Lord. Here comes the glory. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. That's right. Just be saturated. The dew from heaven is falling in this place. Saturating God's people. He comes to his temple this morning. 
Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you, Spirit of God. Here comes the glory. Thank you, Spirit of God. I bless you. I see you in the precious anointing. Be saturated in the presence of God. I see the dew of heaven continue to fall throughout the day. I see the glory of God continuously to fill you. As Jesus does wondrous works, prepare your heart today. Be ready at any moment because the Spirit of God is doing wondrous works. His miracle presence is released and touches your home now, seals your home. And His glory will rest on you until He's fulfilled His work. For the Lord says, yea, I remember my work and I remember my promise and I remember you, says the Lord. And I will touch you and I will fill you and I will reveal my glory to you and you shall be made whole in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your wondrous works. And everybody say, I have received and I continue to receive throughout this day. Come on, those of you watching by YouTube and live stream say, I continue to receive today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, amen. Somebody say glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, saints, if you have not given your life to Jesus, you know your heart's not right with Him. He came to deliver us. He came to seek and to save the lost. And I want you to know that Jesus loves you with an everlasting love. He didn't come into this world to condemn the world, but that the world by Him might be saved. And friend, if you repent, He is faithful and true to forgive you. He said, Pastor Johnny, my heart's not right with God. Can you pray for me? I can pray with you, my dear friend. I want those of you who are giving your life to Jesus, just raise your hand for a moment. You can raise out the side of your car. He said, Pastor Johnny, include me in your prayer. I want to make right with God. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody on this side? Thank you. I see that hand. Those who are watching by YouTube and live stream, just lift your hand in this glorious atmosphere. The presence of God is with you because He loves you. And I want you to pray this prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you that you so loved me that you gave your son Jesus to wash my sins away, to bear my sin. And now, Father, I believe that your son Jesus rose from the dead and he is seated at the right hand of the Father. And Jesus, I receive your forgiveness. I receive the washing of your blood. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. And from this day, I turn my back on the world. And I will follow you and you alone. In Jesus' name, I bless you. Thank God for each and every one who gave your lives to Jesus today. May the Lord bless you. I want you to know this one thing, that when you said Jesus... I give you my heart. He heard you. He took you seriously. He received you. And he washed you with his blood. And because you believe in him, he cleansed you. And he restored you to himself. And from this day, I commend you into his presence. And I bless you in Jesus' name. Everybody said, Amen. Glory to God. Well, remember tonight, 5 p.m., we're going to be in a great service at Wentworth and at Finland's. See you at 5 p.m. God bless you. i got one more thing to say. Sunday was great, but Monday is. God bless you. Love each of you as you go.